Hello there everyone and welcome to this week's episode of Mods for Monday. I am having so much fun going through the thousands of mods available on the Nexus mod page. Like It's crazy the amount of things and stuff that people are making for this game and still currently making for it. First off, I thought I'd just mention the save that I was using on my mod preset. I thought I was become corrupt. So basically I've had to start from fresh and I am I am currently re-adding the mods that I was using prior to the corruption. Uh, I'm just sort of adding them slowly just to make sure that it doesn't happen again. But in today's episode of this week's mod showcase, I actually have quite a few weapons and some armors that I want to show you. For our first mod of today's episode, we are looking at our first weapon mod. This one is called Phoenix Blade. The good thing is there are no requirements that you need to download prior to downloading this mod which is great and it's going to add an additional four new weapons for us to go around and slay our enemies with. The additional weapons will be a gold and silver greatsword and a gold and silver one-handed sword. There are two options available for us to actually obtain these so you can either just go about your business, explore the land of Skyrim, complete quests you're going to find them eventually either in lootable chests or on the bodies of your fallen enemies. But if you do want to get them pretty quick, you can craft these at any forge. All you're going to need is to be able to craft with ebony. So the base weapons, they do not have any enchantments, but they are enchantable. So this does give us the option to add whatever enchantments we want onto these really awesome looking weapons and they are fully upgradable at the sharpening wheel. Moving on with mod number two, we have an armor set. This is called Blue Glowing Sigic Robes. I for one really do like the look of the Sigic Robes and I would have loved for them to be able to be wearable within the vanilla Skyrim, but sadly they're not. I was quite disappointed when you actually meet them during the Mages Guild quest line, and there was no way that you could actually just be given these as like a reward or something. You can get them through console commands, but for me growing up playing this game on the Xbox, there are no console commands. But thanks to this mod, we are now able to have them. And even better, these ones glow. To get this, all you have to do is just travel down to Dragon Bridge, where you're gonna find a chest on the right side of the Penitus Oculatus Outpost. I really enjoyed saying that. I really do like that name. So yeah, they're so easy to get hold of. And these are going to be brilliant to use, especially if you're playing as a mage, or even if you're just playing through the Mage's Guild questline. I just think that they're a great looking uh, piece of armor to wear. Up next for mod number three, we've got another armor mod for you. This one is called DX Dark Knight Armor. This mod is going to give you access to this really awesome looking armor set. But before you can craft it, you're going to need to be able to find the guide. But don't worry. I've got you covered. It's actually really easy to find and I'm going to make it even easier by literally just showing you. Thanks to on the Nexus mod page, the creator is putting in the description of where to find it. So all you're going to need to do is travel to the Blue Palace that is in solitude and just head inside there. Just walk forward at the bottom of the stairs, turn right. You're going to find the book on the table. Now you can craft away at any forge, which is great. So what can you craft? You are going to be able to make a helmet Earrings large, earrings small, amulet, curious pants, curious shorts, gauntlets, boots, and a cosmetic shield. That you can't actually use this though as a shield. It's just cosmetic, so it's just going to sit on your back and do nothing. But I've got something that you might want to download with this. This additional mod is called DX Dark Knight Shield. So you're basically going to be able to take that shield and use it as an intended shield. You can't craft this, you find it. But even better, if you download these mods together, when you go to the location to pick up the book, pick the book up, turn left, you're gonna see the shield just sitting there on a table. You just pick it up, and now you've actually got the shield version of it. Moving on to mod number four, we have a texture overhaul. Who doesn't like texture overhauls? I love them. This one is called Skying Shalador 4K Textures. This mod just overhauls all the textures on the statue you will find within the College of Winterhold, giving it much more detail. As I have said before in previous mod videos, these little mods, once you start downloading a load of them, you're gonna truly notice a huge difference in the world of Skyrim. Like, I'm telling you now, you keep downloading them, and the difference in how Skyrim's gonna look and feel, it changes drastically. Now let's take another look at another weapon mod. For mod number five, we have Wolf Gravestone Greatsword, which you can either 
craft this or find it in the world of Skyrim. It, it's up to you. I prefer to just craft it because I just want to get access to it straight away. But to craft it again, this is another one that you need ebony to be able to make. And the items though, you just need leather strips and ebony ingots. I thought you might need a lot more to actually make this but the design of it it's awesome i really do like how they've designed both the hill and the blade they really do complement each other like uh, the design of that blade just goes really well with exactly what they've done with the hill so uh, you know the crate has done a brilliant job with this you know hats off to them i really do like the look of this weapon curious to know what you think of it down in the comments below for our last mod of the episode we've got another armor set for you I'm going to attempt to pronounce this, I'm probably going to pronounce it wrong, but it is called Tyrell's Archangel Armor and Eldrune. And yeah, included with this mod, it doesn't just give you an armor set, but it's also giving you two weapons. You can either have a two-handed or a one-handed version of a weapon called Eldrune. And yeah, it's pretty cool. It really does match the armor. But speaking of the armor, you're going to need to be able to craft with Daedric to, in order to get this. And all you're going to need is to have items of Daedric Hearts, Ebony ingots and leather strips. Again, this is another mod where I kind of expected you to need quite a lot to make it, but you hardly need anything, which is great. So it means you can literally just get the skill point to craft with Daedric and craft this very easily. It's awesome. It does say that the armor set has been based on a notable archangel and it basically, while wearing it, it really did give me like the feel of that our character was about to dive into hell and just take down the devil himself and rule over it. It just looks pretty damn good, if I say so myself. Well, here we are. At the end of the video, all of these mods, you're going to find them in the description below. All the links are down there. Just copy and paste and it's going to take you directly to the Nexus mod page. And from there on, it will tell you all the requirements and how to install them, where to find them, how to make them. It's as simple as that. And again, please do let me know in the comments below what you think of these mods. Let me know your favorites. Also, let me know of any mods that you think I should check out. I've still got a long list of mods that people had sent me for me to look at. But yeah, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, please leave a like. Consider subscribing to the channel. And I will see you next time for another episode of Mods for Monday.